What is the best way to pick up pine needles? Let's explore the topic in this video. In my experience living with pine trees, I tend to get an influx of pine needles on my lawn in the fall, kind of when the deciduous trees are dropping their leaves, and also in the spring when the pine trees are putting on new growth. Pine needles are annoying for a variety of reasons. They acidify the soil, they're pokey, uh, they're not pleasant to walk on, and they are hard to get off the ground. Over on my website, which I have linked down below, I have a lengthy post with about eight main different ways that you can pick pine needles up off the ground. I encourage you to take a look at that because in this video, I'm only gonna be talking about a few of them. To answer the question of what's the best way to pick up pine needles, it kind of depends. It depends on a few things. Um, it depends on how long the needles have been on the ground. Um, the needles that you see right here haven't been on the ground for very long. So these most recent pine needles are what I like to call floating on top of the grass. When they're floating on top of the grass, it's pretty easy just to take a general, just a general use garden rake and rake them up. Now, there's nothing brilliant about that. I'm sure you're not watching this video because you don't know what a garden rake is. Uh, what I do want to say, however, is that when they're floating on top like this, yes, you could use a garden rake, but it's also one of the best times to use a leaf blower. Now, we think of leaf blowers for blowing the leaves around once all the green leaves fall to the ground, but they can be used for pine needles as well. I have an entire video already on this channel, which I'll link to kind of right up here and down below in the description where I'm using the leaf blower. I'm just demonstrating me using the leaf blower to collect all the pine needles. Once I get them all into an area, then it's very easy to just kind of fluff them up and pick them up with a regular garden rake. Here on this YouTube channel and over on my website, I do a lot of reviews of leaf blowers. This is one uh, homeowner oriented leaf blower from Sunjo. I'm a big proponent of battery, um, battery solutions these days because the batteries are great and you don't have to deal with gas and oil and whatnot. They're quieter. Uh, anyway, this is one of the cheaper kind of high-end battery units out there. It's not my favorite one, but um, I do like it. Now, I'm not trying to sell you on this, but I'm just showing you that this is not the strongest one, and yet it still will move the pine needles around. Now, I could go through the whole yard doing that, but it would be boring for you. Uh, if you regularly come out to your yard with a leaf blower, you can very easily move these things from a spread out area into a kind of a localized spot where it's easier to use this. It is physically less demanding to do that regularly. Not everybody is on top of their game all the time. I get that. I'm not on top of my game all of the time. If I let these pine needles sit on the ground for a while and then maybe a rainstorm happens or I don't know, maybe I just don't deal with them for a very long time, they really start getting ground in. Now, at that point, these garden rakes, they can work, but you really have to work hard to dig things out, as you no doubt know. And one of these hard tined rakes uh, is a natural thought as, you know, maybe I could use one of these, but these are hard on the grass and uh, I don't know, they're just hard to use. They're harder to use. You can certainly pick stuff up with, with these, but what I do recommend over one of these kinds of rakes is a thatch rake. Now, I use thatch rake for pulling thatch out of the ground, um, but these rakes are very good for picking up pine needles that have dug in um, underneath the leaf canopy and they're sitting on the soil surface. The entire point of these, they're hard tines. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's the same kind of a thing as this. It's a hard time. It's the shape of it that matters though. The shape of it, it's almost like a cutting blade. So it's not going to kind of rip into the grass quite as much. I mean, the entire point of this is to rip into what is under the grass and pull it up. Um, this, these kind of 
the part tine rakes are completely just, I mean, it's just a stake going into the ground dragging. These, they have like little wings on them. So when you put this here, there's a little wing that kind of pulls kind of up and to the side, um, which is excellent for picking little things up off of the ground. Now I would use this if I let the pine needles really kind of dig into the grass over a long period of time. I find that this to be, I mean, it's exhausting to use this tool, but it works exceptionally well. Now, there are other ways to pick up pine needles. I do recommend the leaf blower method first uh, because that just gets you into regular maintenance. If you've got a yard, you've probably been mowing your yard every week or so for the whole season. Uh, at this point, uh, mid to late fall, maybe even early spring, the grass isn't quite growing as vigorously. You might not need to mow the grass as often, but you can very easily come out with a leaf blower and fluff up the grass and pull all of these pine needles up and put it all over into one area. It's easy, it's quick, it doesn't take a lot of, uh, it doesn't take a lot of effort, like manual labor. Um, that's what I really prefer. If you just want to wait to the end of the season and clean it all up at once, these rakes are fancy. These are fancy rakes. Uh, most people don't have a rake like this, although they don't cost all that much. Many home and garden stores probably in your town carry them. Not all of them will. Uh, certainly you can buy them online as well. This is one that I bought online Although it is carried, this exact same brand is being carried at one of my local garden stores. There are other tools out there that will pick up. I mean, right now this is mostly grass, but there are other tools out there that will pick up the pine needles. Um, they are designed to pick up leaves and pine needles, so long as the pine needles aren't really ground into the soil. I do not have that piece of equipment on me. That's not a normal thing that I keep here at my house. But if you go down into the description, you can take a look at the link that heads over to the website. I'm going to discuss these plus a few other options down there. Some of the options are a little bit less common, less obvious, and they're only going to be situational, but they are worth taking a look at. 